Audience, welcome back to another session of Let's Talk and Grow with Miss Mushupa and my guest, songstress Sabrina. Sabrina the songstress is is still here telling her story and letting us know all the valuable goodies that one is needed to know as we get through this world. And hers has to do with me as the healthiest we we can be. You know, if you see part one and part two, she's already telling us her journey to being uh, a healthy uh, woman. And she talked about her, uh, her vision and some of the limitations that kind of sparked her to go in search of how best to care for herself if she has to live with this limitation. And um, the session ahead, I'm, gonna, I'm sure she's going to tell you how she not only lived with it, but how she thrived with it, you see. So we are the ones we've been waiting for. Nobody's going to do it for us. And yes, you know, we all have a story and our stories are valuable. And if we share it with each other, we'll find strength in each other. You see, because, uh, again, we're the ones we've been waiting for. So here we go. I'm going to continue to read in by uh, my great, she's still with us, Susan L. Taylor, in the uh, article she had written back in September 1988. Uh, in, the, in the spirit, uh, she would have in the center of the magazine to inspire us. And so let me continue to read a little bit of the grand design that she had written at that time. Each and every moment we are shaping our reality. Our words and feelings form mental pictures that our minds believe and work to make real. We are so in the habit of expressing doom and gloom that we doubt, criticize, and complain without even realizing it. It's easy to get off course, to move away from our plans. The bad news we get from the media every day is a constant reminder that there's not enough common sense or justice or love at work in this world. It makes us fearful, obsessed with our own survival, bent on finding security in things and other people. But again, and again, our experience leads us to the same realization. Nowhere outside ourselves is there safety. Security lies from within. Hmm, swallow that. Security lies from within. So to be able to quiet ourselves sometimes to hear what it is the universe is telling us, the spirit is telling us, God is telling us, you know, it's, it's often a difficult feat because the mirage is always calling us to come out and play. <laughs> so that was September, 1988, that our sister Susan L. Taylor wrote that in the spirit. So again, you see my guess here, the songstress. Thank you for staying <laughs> with me. Thank you for continuing to be open to share your story so those that need to hear it will, will get it as that jewel that it will be. For us, um, it's a pleasure. Thank it's you. It's my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, so we, we touch on African American for Balanced Health, how you and Bobby Walters co founded it and the great people that you bumped shoulders with uh, through the years and, and the fact that it still exists now, 27 years. Mm -hmm. um, and I could imagine there's so many people that have their story to tell about how it helped them. Mm -hmm. And um, and for you, how it helped you, not only your physical being, but it helped you with the limitation you had from your vision. And uh, and although things have not completely gone away, do you want to talk a little bit more uh, about um, what healthy eating can do for the whole person? Um, you know, because 
and, and I, I had to come back to that part of it because we have uh, these days there's so many people that are extremely overweight and you know not I, I don't know when I was a little girl growing up I don't think we had places where you would have to go the dialysis but kidney dialysis um, I knew diabetes exists, but not to the level that it does now. Um, and not only, if, if that were to happen, it usually was people that are much older. But to what we're seeing going on now, there are people that are still raising children, especially if we think of single mothers, um, raising children and sick from their diet. Um, and just, but, the diet is one thing, but we have to connect sometimes the diet to how this person may feel about themselves, you know, because I, I like to say, you know, when you're sad and things aren't going right, food become your lover, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, and food become the way that we so-called get rid of that, that pain. But on the end side, it plugs us up for what is really real and true. Mm -hmm. So what does self-care play in the paths that you have chosen to help explore and even uh, conquer? Self-care, you know, this way our audience could hear how taking care of themselves becomes even that much more important. So what, the, what, what part does self-care I mean, do we, where do you find how to love yourself? You know, because mm -hmm. self-care talks, of, you know, that, that, that's about how I feel about myself. Can I love right. myself? Am I worthy to be loved? Only when somebody outside myself love me, should I love me? So can you speak to that, sister? Yes. Um, I ha I'm going to speak to it by first addressing something you you said, and it's not to criticize what you said, yes. but to clarify something. Thank you. When you mentioned um, me dealing with my limitations, I had to start with, there are no limitations. The limitations are only those that we perceive. Mm. Because we could all say lim we've been limited by- Thank being, you for that. Yes. by somebody on the outside yes racism yes, uh, yes. what um, you know all these different yeah. isms G yeah religions religion and what, yeah not to down, down religion at all because it's helpful to some has in its some place. ways has its place but um you know so even with respect to the eyesight yes i see and dr goss used to say Tell everybody, Sabrina has more vision than the rest of Because I used to always say that to me. I used to speak those words to myself. My limitations. My, you know. Thank you. My, yeah. yeah. And he's like, no. Yes. And so that's where my self-care had to begin with my, my change, my own thinking. Because mm. the average person, everybody that knows me knows I've done some everything. <laughs> You're going to get to my singing. But, and I've traveled all yes. over the world. I went to Egypt. I, I went by myself. I didn't wait for somebody to come with me, but I did meet up with a group in New York. Um, yes. I've gone, I traveled uh, Honduras. I finally yes. went to say, I went by myself. Uh, uh, and so on. Okay, so. Uh, Thank you but, for correcting me. No, yeah, there I were, think it was necessary. When people say, say that, that, that word stands out for me now because I used to do that to myself. Yes. And so, yeah, no limitations. In fact, I don't even use the word disabled. Yes. Um, it's differently able. My, a friend of mine who's in a wheelchair, she said, we're not disabled, we're just differently. We just do things differently. Yes. So I have special software on my computer yes. that helps me to, to do all the work and everything. Yes. You know, and so, and, and I, I reclaimed my wellness and feel on the path to return to my true spirit nature of wellness. Yes. So when I had my own practice for five years, I was in front of the computer 24 seven. Yeah. And so the eyesight that I get regained with my lifestyle, right? Yeah. 
some of it started to go backwards again because I was con I was helping everybody else. Yeah. So that led me to realize the need to nurture myself. Right. Okay. Okay. And after five years of being a health and wellness consultant, which I love, got lots of good results. My website was full of reviews, mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. I had to let that go as well as resign as chairperson of African Americans for Balanced Health after 13 years. Hmm. of being chair, which is too long for anybody yeah. to be chair. Yeah. I kept saying, somebody else needs to do it. Yeah. And they talked me back into it, right? But <laughs> I did it. But yes. it was a time, we talked about self-care. Yes. That's when it all came together. It was I was loving all of that. Right. But my elder sister friends, like Bernice Jackson yes. and Jerry Will, and Jerry. Sammy Pickens, they're all ancestors now. Yes. Kept saying, Sabrina, you need to get back to your singing. Yes. You need, because I sang, I started at 30 long ago. But yes. then once we founded the organization, I sang for about 10 years, 15 years. I took it, end up on a 15 year break unintended mm -hmm. in the health and wellness community, doing all the work, you know, blah, blah, blah. And they were saying, get back to your singing, that's healing too. Wow. I heard him, but I wasn't hearing. Yes. But eventually I made the decision. So I resigned as chair. I had clients who cried when I told them I was going to be closing up the Natural Living Center. I wanted to find people who could run it for me, but I couldn't find that, That's, yeah. I, so. No, there's no other you. Yes. Yes. And close. I, want, I yeah. knew that I need, I said, with the eyesight that, you know, I was. I had made some gains. Wait a minute. What's now? Some things are coming back, but that's okay. I don't focus on the eyesight thing because if if you focus on anything that feels uncomfortable or just whatever you focus on, you attract more of. Yes. So I focus on wellness, and when I did, because I started having other issues, it wasn't just the eyes. I started having issues with my colon and all yes. again. So, but and so I there was a, a book that I read called Dying to Be Me. Dying to be me. Do you it remember the very, author? Yes. Um, she's, she travels all over the world speaking. She had a near-death experience. Um, Anita Mor Morjani, I think is how you say her name. Yeah. I, it took me a long time to get her last name down, but Anita. Anita. Can, yeah, yeah, go Dying on, to yeah, be me. Go to the nearest it's an local excellent book store, that yeah. she, she was gone for 30 hours. After she was pulling the plug on her. But anyway... It, that's a whole nother story, but that's it's a good book. Okay. And I, but when I got out of it, cause she she's on the YouTube, all over YouTube, okay. and I was I stumbled up on a video, and she said she she had cancer. For, that was her issue. How she, yes. For four years, she said she ran around looking for cures all over the world. Hmm. She said, and it was getting worse. And I, she said, I didn't realize I was focusing on illness not the well not mm. wellness i said she's right that was me because i was looking for ish i was looking for um, i started told you i started having intestinal issues yeah. well because i had a, i was working seven days i had retired but my the natural living center i was working seven days a week it had evolved to that and i was but i was looking for answers for what was going on in my intestine it was bothering me because i said I know how to fix everything else, but not this. Yeah. I wasn't an expert in the microbiome. And um, I said, she's right. I've been, that's what I've been doing. Focus Focus on. Focusing on illness. So I don't do that anymore. Okay. So my, my life now is focusing on all that is good. I'm not saying I don't slip. We're, that's our journey. Yes. Once in a while I get distracted. Yes. But my... My, I set my intentions to return to the joys of living because I had gotten distracted with focusing on illness. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I'm done with that. Yes. I'm, we're, meant, we're meant to be joyful, loving human beings. Correct. And that's my focus now is being joyful, loving, at peace, yes. in harmony. And so I, I have my daily ritual to get me started yes. with doing that every day. And what is that daily ritual, huh? my sister? <laughs> Tell me what it is, because I have my own, but I want to hear what yours oh, is. Okay. <laughs> I, I, um, 
I call it time and I got it, I forget what book I read, T-I-M-E, which is thankfulness. I get out of bed with appreciation. Mm -hmm. Time, that's, the T is thankfulness. The I is setting my intention and inspiration. So I'll read something inspirational mm -hmm. or look at a YouTube five minutes, 15 minutes while I'm mm -hmm. making my juice or whatever. Mm -hmm. The, the um, M is meditation or silence time, okay. quiet. E is exercise. Oh, so T I M E, T I -M -E. and I take thirty minutes. So an, an abbreviated version is thirty minutes. What I like is an hour every yes. day, but it can be done in thirty minutes yes. easily um, with a fifteen-minute exercise. Yes. Um, or you can do five minutes. There's a five-minute nitric oxide workout that you can do. It's on. It's Dr. Berg. It's on YouTube. I learned that. Okay. So when I don't have time to do my full workout, yes. I'll go there and do. I think it's six minutes. So your, is your workout with machines or yoga? Yeah, my normal is you know fifteen minutes of silence or meditation. I say, I say, it's a prayer and meditation time because I say prayer is when I talk to the Most High to yes. Source. Meditation is when I get quiet and listen for the answer. Ah, oh. that's what that is. Folks, real jewel you're getting ah. today. <laughs> okay, real <laughs> jewel. <laughs> So that's lovely. I, I've been doing that now for three years. I've probably only missed five days. I didn't think I could do it because I tried it years ago. I guess I wasn't ready. Yes. And sitting quiet for 15 minutes, that seemed, oh, it's like, oh, your mind goes, but that's okay if your mind yes. goes. Because if you let it go, you can bring it right back. Mm -hmm. You just bring it back and you get better and better at it. Yes. So that's what I do each morning and I do it. I thirty uh, hours ideal, and I'm working on getting up early because yes. I've always been a night owl. Yes, I, I my new intention is to become the early bird. Okay, so I'm getting up earlier, and I may I love it when I have an hour to do all that. Mm. And I do yoga, and then other days I do strength training. You know, I turn my garage into a fitness center, yes. so I do strength training. Yes. Sometimes I do both when I can get an hour and a half, or I'll just do the yoga for 15 and then strength training for 15 okay. or whatever. I switch it around, but um, that's that's my morning yeah, it's a ritual. Mm -hmm. And that's a way of loving on yourself, mm -hmm. of reminding yourself who you are and your value. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of women that are still in the working world. They have children. You know, and you know, we know the demand on women sometimes right. is a lot, and and I'm I'm speaking also to the men. Yeah, to the men too. You know, sometimes that, right? Yeah, exactly. I must speak to you men exactly. because you know it's for everyone, for yeah. all life, to remember to take time for yourselves. And if you are a mother with young mm -hmm. children, I always say, and I many of my friends were raised with kids, and we're. In the same on the same boat. Yes. You, that means getting up a little earlier yes. before the children get up. And I know some that do that now. Yes. Um, they get up a little earlier before the kids, and that's your quiet time. I yes. call it my quiet time. That's correct. And even if you can only do that three days a week. Yes. You know, or when they go to bed. Yes. Because you don't have to do it in the morning. You can set your intentions the night before, yes. and that'll get your day for the next, you set it for the next day. So yes. there's ways to work that through, you know? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, she, mm -hmm. she's very right, you know, because this is where you get to navigate your life, mm -hmm. you know? And if you make time to be the best parent, then part of doing that requires that you make a little time for yourself. Yeah, it's a must it's a yeah. because it's the same concept as if we're on an airplane, they say put your, if, if something, we have an emergency, mm -hmm. you don't put the child's mask on for the, what is that? Mask, oxygen mask. Oxygen mask. Yeah. You put your oxygen mask on first and then mm -hmm. you put it on the child. Otherwise you won't be able to. So that's my two cents. And she yeah. is right. <laughs> and we see that in our world right now, that question must be asked of most of the mothers out there mm -hmm. and the men. But I'm speaking a lot, of course, to the moms that because they're oftentimes responsible for the children that becomes, you know, eventually the future adults. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't find time for yourself, the, the, the issues become when you're laying in uh, having uh, dialysis, 
for four hours, you, you have to find that time then. <laughs> my standard you know? statement, I used to tell my clients yeah. when I was a practitioner, I said, if you don't have 30 minutes where you're at now to do your self-care yeah, and your exercise or whatever, when will you have 30 days for that hospital stay that's going to result mm. as, as a result of, you know, you, you put you, your lack yeah. of self-care? When will you have time for that? Because exactly. everything comes to, without your help, it's all yes. moves. Everything comes to a stop. Exactly. That's the key. And, and oftentimes, you know, we get numb to ourselves. I mean, if you don't feel the, 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 uh, the pain that you feel daily, the weight that you carry daily, you know, how, what happens to a person when they're not, when they deny that their wellness? Because I, I guess I'm saying that because the more I do the work for myself through my diet, good rest, you know, quiet time, meditation journaling the more i could sometimes remember the times when those things weren't up there in front and center and what i felt like and you know and oftentimes it's because you one is really engaging and teaching the children dealing with you know sometimes relationships that yeah mm -hmm. that it isn't right and carrying weights that's too heavy and and, and, be, and believe it, that is your toil. <laughs> but if you do find those healthy moments to get quiet, then you'll know who to give what to carry. Mm -hmm. Whose responsibility is that? Uh, when it's really say, you know, back up, I'm going to be resting and do not disturb me. <laughs> you know, how to fight for yourself. Because women and men, when you fight for yourself, then you give people the ability to say, you know, I got to respect them because they have their boundaries and it's clearly seen from a distance. You see, and we must have that because that's the only way we could be a, a good example for our children and, 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 and people and it, around well, us. It is a good example, you said. Yes. And that's just like I, I, I make out mm -hmm. my bills because I see my mother do it. She, mm -hmm. She'd write her list of in you know all the things the bills the expenses yes. and then months subtracted from the income and so i you know so whatever yeah. we see our parents do so like you said they see you caring for yourself yes then they do and that thankfulness when you said um journaling yes that's a part of it too. Yes. my thankfulness is actually five minutes of it like i'll i wake up with gratitude but i also sit and for me, I have to do it on the computer, um, type. Yes. I have my appreciation journal. And so just thinking of five things I, I appreciate in this moment. When I woke up, I appreciate rising and feeling well. Yes. I appreciate the peacefulness of this morning. Whatever it is. Yes. I write at least five things. It really turns into 10 or 15. Yeah, Once yeah. you get going, you'll realize how much you have to appreciate. So much to appreciate so that much. there's no, there's very little time to dwell on those things. The that. And, you know, I love what my sister have just said because, you know, that's how I start my day. I can't really come amongst others until I've really settled my spirit that the gift that this day is. And this is 2023, November. And this is when the colors of nature start to show itself everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, beauty, the beauty and the birds and everyone trying to get their little nest in and preparing for winter is in full view. But if we're not really in tune with ourselves, we can't see the miracle, the miracles right. the that answers, are occurring. The answers don't, they come with, with that quiet time. With that quiet time. Yes, they come. You know, so you have to be open to hear it. And, and in that quiet time, you will... You will hear what needs to be done for yourself. Yes, it's amazing. It's, yeah. It's miraculous. It is. And like, <laughs> like my sister said, when she decided that she wanted, you know, that she knew something had to change, all the players came into play mm -hmm. and made and, and allow her to leave a job mm -hmm. that she was supposed to stay maybe another 15 or so years. She left that 
I said, no, I got someplace else to go. I got to go out and play. <laughs> right. I live my life. <laughs> you know, because. Get you, back to my singing. Yes. <laughs> eventually, I did. Eventually. And, Let me go ahead. you know, it, and she sings. And I don't know, you know, we're in this little space. I don't know if she wants to sing a little <laughs> tune for me. I usually wait um, for the end. But you, you're asking me? Well, yeah. we can wait for the end. No, I want you oh. to do it right now. I want this could be a good way that we close out number three, part three, <laughs> is if she sings a little tune for we. You know, because like I said, it's fall. And things are changing and the beauty of things are starting to show up. And we're in charge of this show. Huh? We can do it the, the way we want to do it as we go. So, sister, uh -huh. <laughs> pick a song that will make the audience just smile and just feel good to know that there are people like yourself that exist in our world. Because, you know, when the shadows come, you know, sometimes people have a hard time resurfacing and, and really believing that, you know, that the universe brought them in this existence for a reason. So jewels like you, and hopefully me too, <laughs> you know, we, 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 we're here to do our part. So yes, if you and want you, to... you are, and I want to commend you. Thank you. For having this show, Let's Talk and Grow. Yes. It's wonderful this podcast thank you sister yeah you're doing so well i've looked at some of your other episodes and they're very good thank you sister yeah, <laughs> that's something i'm gonna want to yeah. do eventually in my life oh. you know we keep reinventing re 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 well, we, we need that yeah. we need you to do what you do you are a, a jewel to our community oh thank you i must thank say you. that wherever i see you you know i'm just and I've known you a long time. Yeah. I've known you since my son was two. He's now 24. Wow. Yes. You know, yeah. so I've watched you evolve as I've evolved. And, mm -hmm. you know, and some of the folks that you mentioned, you know, I remember when they were here and now they're no longer yeah, there. Yeah, the answer. Yeah. It's gone on. Too. So we know that we, we, we're on a travel. We're on a, a, a path. And, you know, so as we're moving, we, we, we're making sure that we leave a legacy. <laughs> you know, that's to let the world know we were here long after mm -hmm. we're gone, it will ricochet into time. So I have faith that the Almighty did not make a mistake when they said that it was time for me to appear and this sister too. <laughs> and that's why we do what we do. Mm -hmm. So sing a little song for we, if you would, okay. Miss so you said <laughs> You said the magic word smile. Yes. You might have to make the audience smile. So, for multiple reasons, I'll pick this song called Smile. Uh -huh. um, number one, it's on my CD. You know, I recorded my first CD. Oh, it's the one I have, ago. right? Yes. Yes. I'm working on my second CD. Yes. We can talk about that if yes. you want later. But um, the second CD is all my original writings. But this one was cover tunes. And so this song was actually given to Nat King Cole by a gentleman named Charlie Chaplin, oh. who was an activist. He was European. Charlie he Chaplin. was an activist for civil rights when you didn't. I read his whole story. There's documentaries on him, too. Charlie Chaplin, his name is very yeah, famous. Yeah, he was a um, comedian, right? He was a comedian, yeah. yep. And he did those animated yes. movies. And, yeah, yeah, yeah he, gave, he wrote this song, and he gave it to Nat King Cole. And then Natalie Cole sang it on her album. Mm. And I, that's when I learned it, when I heard her sing it. And I used to do a Nat King Cole tribute downtown every week mm. um, at a place called Jasmine's Art of Pasta. So it's uh, the other reason I'm, so those are multiple reasons for singing it. Wow, and yes. it was Michael Jackson's favorite song. And Jermaine sang it at the very end of the memorial on television. He sang it a cappella. Yeah, and they're on. They're, the two of them are doing it as a duet on YouTube. You can find it. Oh Michael my Jackson. God. Yeah. So there's just so many things about this song, and it's one. It's one that kind of fits what we're saying. It's, so I'll, without like further ado, it. yes, <laughs> I would love to hear it. Yes, you've heard it before. Did you probably? We'll you'll know it when I start okay. singing it. It's a 
God's body. Okay, I'm gonna take my breath. Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile even though it's breaking. When there are clouds in the sky, you'll get by. If you smile through your fears and sorrows, smile and maybe tomorrow you'll find that life is still worthwhile if you just smile. That's a snippet. Uh, That's a snippet. Uh, <laughs> audience, uh, I know you I've saw never done that all this smiling. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Angelic is your voice. Oh, thank you. Angelic. <laughs> that was, I was trying. <laughs> so, if the audience wants to go and get your CD, mm -hmm. is there a special place they should look for it? Yes, they can. Time? My CD is available on iTunes. Um, CD Baby was distributing, but I don't know if they are now. Okay. But um, you, I title of the CD. Um, also, Betty sells them out of her oh, culture collection culture on collection. her website now. Okay. Is her, but the name of, and then you can, it streams on um, Spotify, Pandora, you know, the streaming channels. And it was stream under the name of what? So, um, it's called Back in the House Back in the with House. Pure Positive Vibrations. All right. I titled it that because that's where I'm at in life. And Pure I'm going to put that on the ticker for you all when you all are watching this show so you could capture it, okay? <laughs> and I, I, I hope you're all uh, in awe like I am. Oh, um, thank um, you. Remember, thumbs up, share, leave a comment subscribe and show us your appreciation that we're doing what we're doing on let's talk and grow with miss rushumba part three part four the final part is coming up Asheo.